Right, oh, just a bit cut enough. Got a new blade now for this. A 1.5 I think. Just over 1 mil anyhow. And uh, well, thanks to Mick from Manchester Mudlarks for telling us about these thinner blades. So let's see what I can do with this today. Right. Let's start some cutting now. edges round and uh, fridge magnet will right I'm just gonna do a little bit of grinding with hand with grinder on these because I'm just gonna score the backs of these so it's easier to stick the magnets on. I like to just cut through the glaze so it's a bit of some oh, that's another oh, little one that's stuck on. So I'm gonna grind the back of that one, the back of that one and that one which will just take one of these big ones but won't cover what remains of the uh, maker's mark there. This one, I might just use the big grinder, just the grinder, a big flat on there to take that when I trim it down. And these two, because they've got a nice maker's mark on the back, if I put one of them on, you'll not see it. So. I've got some of these little magnets, so I might just grind a spot, put two on. The same with that one. I see it. Stuck to it again. I'll put one of them big ones on. It covers the whole mark. So I'll just put a couple of these little ones on. Just to make it stick. on there should give it the glue something to stick to to the base material instead of just sticking onto the shiny glaze. Oh, that was quick and easy. Right, that's how I grow up grinding the edges flat on this. that for a bigger one. Alright, that's changed for a bigger one.
an easy one. Just take it sharpness off the edges. I'll ground a chunk on the back, ready for it to stick a magnet on. some of these into the mounts and some of them I'm going to glue the magnets on the back just done a little bit more fine sanding on the edges my hand tools uh, I've just mixed my glue so These ones got two little marks, and to keep them level, we put the magnets on a steel ruler so they stop in place and the backs are level. <laughs> if I can get them apart quickly.
these magnets I'm just going to have a go at uh, the seal in the raw edges before I gild them and then the size doesn't uh, soak in too much and I thought with this heat that we've got at the moment ample time for quickly drying them I'll wait for it to cool down a bit more before I uh, do the gilding or do it inside and it's a bit cooler no wind well that's the edges painted and I've let them dry in the sun now or the heat should I say and then I can gild them later I think <laughs> 